Okay. Anyway, this segment is called things that are actually worth spending money on. Yeah, I got last so week. You know, we were talking about things that Joey basically has a financial philosophy of don't live a life. Um, don't enjoy yourself. Read, read fiction and nonfiction inside that you not books, by the way, find the transcripts and illegally download them on the internet. What are you talking about? Anyway, what are you referencing? I was making, I was making a joke. You're you were like, don't go to arena concerts and you had a compelling case. Oh, I'm saying download, download, uh, scripts pay of for the movies book. and yeah. And instead of watching them, read the script, read the script. I didn't say that top way to save money. Watch the other video because I have a lot of great tips for saving yeah. money and not yeah. wasting money more. So don't waste your money. Well, anyway, we're talking about things that you should waste your money on. Yes, but it's not waste. Number one for me is paper towels. Okay, sure. you're going with uh, all right. Don't get a fucking half fly useless piece of shit roll of computer paper. It's awful. Like the you ever said the Kroger like the pst brand. Oh, yeah, it's like really. Yeah, great value. Anything Listen, it's cool. I mean, it's not it's the it's no man's land. Don't do it. What do you go brawny bounty? I get what's on sale. I'll even get like the Kroger brand ones, but get the legit double ply one. Because Kroger does do the cheap shit, but then they also they also do like, like premier listen, shit. We too. understand. You know, it's been a rough week. Netflix okay. hit your account this week. It's it's been rough. It's eighteen bucks now. What are you gonna do? I think you we know can what's also, funny. Can okay. I do a quick funny financial aside? There no, was a point no in comedy. my life. There was a point in my life right after college where I was like, I, you're just kind of like always broke, and I would dread when like, oh fuck, when's my Xbox Gold gonna hit? God, when's it gonna hit? I forget when it charges because it's like every three months. You know, were you that low on the? I was that low. Yeah, balance? I was poor. I was a little poor boy. Okay, and uh, I would always be like, God, when's it gonna happen? And then one day I realized I'm like. God, every time I'm like, it's like the worst financial state in my life. I feel like I can't. It's I, I, I had this feeling. I was like, oh, I feel like always when I'm at my worst Xbox Live is charging my account. Yeah. And then I realized that every three months I was like, oh, this is my worst time ever to be charged for this. But in reality, it's funny that it was every. It's like, hey, you're always poor. That was the reminder. You, you'd be like, oh god, this week it's gonna. It just charged. Fuck, you know, I don't get yeah, paid yeah, for yeah. two days. You know, you didn't realize it's like, man, it's always hitting me at the wrong time, and you yeah, realize and your like, life is yeah, the wrong it's time. The, I my existence is the wrong time. <laughs> god, it's nice now. It's funny, people that live like beyond their means, because for me now it's like. I don't, the only reason I enjoy my life is because I don't live at the edge of the rope. I'm not, yeah. I'm not about to fall off the boat all the time, and that makes my life good. But some people, they're like, oh, that's I'm always going to live like that. No dude, matter it's how much awful money I make. when yeah. you're in that spot, dude. Yeah, it's terrible. Everyone's been in that spot. Fuck, man. Yeah. What are you going to do? Th we're oh, so yeah. off track already. Paper, paper Things towels. Things we're spending money on. I said paper towels. What are you saying? Just to go with those to accompany those. Yeah. Good toilet paper. Yeah. Kind of goes in tandem. Good ass toilet. Like, man, buy the most expensive toilet paper they have. Do you want to know like the easiest way to to royally piss off a woman who you've convinced to come hang out inside your apartment? Ooh. Have shitty toilet paper. They will never come to your place again. Fact. But they'll still Treat fool the around lady. with you <laughs> that time. Of course, they're there. Because they're there and they're probably kind of horny. Maybe. But then they're not coming back because they're going to find a guy with better because, toilet paper. Because you're going to be a broke ass. Bye. Or if you're a woman watching this podcast, though, if you got bad toilet paper, guy probably won't dig you down. Yeah. Kidding. He will for sure dig you down and he'll be back. Yeah. Anytime you call him. Next one. Good garbage bags. I feel like I burn myself on garbage bags every couple weeks. Every now and then I'll buy, I'll just buy it and I'll be like, God, what the fuck did I do here? The worst is when you accidentally buy a bag of garbage bags and it doesn't have the drawstring. It's just That's like I'm saying. they're like uncircumcised bags. <laughs> oh my god! And you're just your life is miserable for a month until you burn them all, like get rid of them. You're like, God, remember that? No, awful they're like month? circumcised bags. 
You guys want that extra their, skin, dude. Dads hit their children the month that they buy the wrong bag of garbage bags. For sure. That's when kids are getting their ass whooped. By hefty or glad. Don't play. Don't play. You can get hit by daddy. Not going to do that. The other one. Okay. The other one. It's garbage bags. I'm going to say good cat litter. These are household things. Buy good cat litter. Buy expensive ass cat litter. Buy expensive ass cat food or dog food. Yeah. Don't get some bull. Some of those like IMS is like it's fucking glass and nicotine and no, don't. like God knows what's in there. Mm-hmm. And your cat won't like them. My cat will like if I buy like meow mix or something. My cat just didn't like it. It wouldn't eat it. Your your pets don't even know that they have a conscience or anything, dude. But they like, still aren't going to eat meow mix. So I'm saying treat yeah, your cats right. Get it. Buy good litter. Don't buy flushable litter because don't buy organic litter that you can flush down the toilet because. You may not notice because you'll get used to it, but your bathroom will smell like a barn. I fucking hate. I hate cat litter. I just. Does my I'm not a cat guy. Your house does not smell like cat litter. Care of that. Yeah, you're you're on your shit. It never has smelled like that one time. I've been to places and you're like Jesus Christ. How do you live like this? Because they don't notice. At that point, they just walk in sniffing ammonia. All day. Oh my god! Like, Don't get me started. Yeah. What else is worth spending money on? Good hand soap. I don't do this myself, but like, because it just takes too long to wait at Kroger for them to open the fucking glass door. You got to be going to Target to get your hand soaps, dude. My, buy Myers hand. Get soap. method. No, go to Target and get method. It's the same price as all of them, and it looks cool and it has it stupid sexy? flavors like charcoal sea Ooh, crunch, charcoal nice. sea salt, you know, testicle sweat. Just real horny man smells sometimes. <laughs> charcoal testicles. Method is good for that. Charcoal charcoal testicles. Wait, okay, so I I have another one queued up. Do you have one you want to spit out? Um I'll take yeah, something big. A phone. Get a phone that works and can call and text people and send messages right. And Take. doesn't fucking just go to voicemail when you call people randomly. Fair get enough. Get your life together and get a Fair fucking enough. normal phone. Fair I'm not enough. even saying like get an iPhone. Fair. You got get a Samsung or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I can't receive calls on this phone. You have a fucking Motorola. You might as well just go backwards and get a fucking razor like the flip razor. I point. like it, but nobody can call me. Yeah, dude, because it's a. F- I know. All right. I hear you. I hear you. Anyway, I'm moving clear. on. Point taken, though. And you know what? You're right. And thank you. Keep going. For your honesty as a friend. Um, this is a lesson from Cheryl, my mother, who will never watch this podcast because I say pussy too much. My mom told me, don't fuck around with detergent. She didn't say fuck, but she said, buy Tide. Tide is the best detergent. Yeah, it is. But Tide I buy- knows what they're doing. They got it down. Gain makes a run for it, but Gain's not that good. I use Gain. Dude, growing up, my mom would use the powder Gain. Remember that? How's it do? I don't know. I guess it works. I guess it's kind of fun now. It's like you're like an old-timey laundry guy. You know? The powder. Somebody used to open some kind of hipster Put laundromat flat. where they let you do that shit and make you feel like an apothecary or whatever, and you'd be like, guy, here's my launder mix, and they pay like $40 a load for that shit. Dude, come down to where I live, laundromat row, and do one load. You can buy powder from a. Con- you can buy it from oh, a vending machine. Oh, same here. Down at the one on Santa Monica by the creepy Seven Eleven. You can have that experience anytime you want. You can go to Lucy's, walk down the block, right there, have an old school experience, buy some powdery Tide, and do a load, man. I'm so lucky that I have laundry here in this unit because I mean, I'm having to go to a laundromat and I'm just standing there. The one on Santa Monica at the, you know, you remember like by my old apartment past Fairfax. You might not remember on Santa Monica bar. Yeah. There's next to the little taco place. There's a taco place, a Seven Eleven, and a laundromat. I just be in this laundromat and there's just guys in the parking lot staring at me, literally just staring at you like through the glass. And you're like, okay, 
Well, I'm not going anywhere. So what's going on? Guys, and it turns I'm out married. that they're just guys staring because that's what they do. Yeah, there are guys that just stare. That's what they do. But and then you, you make eye contact and I'm like, hello. You're like, I, you have to. I look people in the eye now. I look everybody in the eye. <laughs> anyway, what else is worth spending money on? Um, don't fuck around and get like the cheapest car battery. You're going to be a fucking idiot and it's going to like you leave your lights on five minutes and it's going to go down. It's not going to last year. Mm-hmm. Get a decent battery. Go to AutoZone. Any and kind the of guy car telling shit, you that, really. Just say, hey. I want the Cadillac and it's going to be an extra $40 for real. Yeah, dude, honestly. And here's the other thing too. There are like, I can, I can help you with like your car. I've had a lot of fucking car problems in my life. My whole, I'm, I've had nothing but a trashy car existence where I only have had American cars that every little thing breaks on it constantly. I'm going to tell you this right now. You pay money for the shit, like, obviously, like a battery. Like, if you're getting an oil filter, get a good oil filter. Get a decent, get decent oil put in your car. You know, get a fuel injection treatment every now and then. Who knows? Don't, don't, like, for example, I had to get, I had to get my brakes done the other day. Mm -hmm. You're going to get pads. You're going to get. You probably need new rotors, but then at the end they're like, "Oh, uh, we offer a brake drum flush service uh, for your rear brake brakes. It's forty dollars. If it's forty dollars, it's horseshit. It's just shit they're tacking on to yeah, get it. Sounds together. like an upsell. They they're gonna come at you up front with this shit that's actually wrong with your car. You need new rotors. You need new pads. Five hundred dollars. Like, yeah, that sucks, but that's what it is. And they're like, we also have we also. It's all bullshit most of the time. Actually, I got a tip. That's how they tack on, and that's where they make their money. If you live in Los Angeles, come to 15 Minute Tire. I've lived, I've lived by both places I've lived in LA have been very close to 15 Minute Tire, and those are good ass dudes. Okay. Yeah, you can back them. I, those guys are just like, most car places, everyone is always trying, trying to shite their scumbag the shit out They're of you. Can want to fuck you, 15 and minute, they will. They will. Fifteen minute tire on Pico. I got they. They. I trust them. It's guess how much. Guess how much a used. Who is this for? Guess. <laughs> it's fun. We're having a good time. I know. I'm just. We're goofing. I was making a joke. Keep Nobody going. lives in L. A. That's watching all 159 people that watch this. Here's what it is. You go here. They charged me. They charged you forty five dollars to get a used tire for the labor and the used tire. Forty five dollars for a new tire. Can I be real with you though? What? Don't buy used tires. You're just keep delaying the inevitable, and then you're and then that's how people blow their fucking tire out and go off the road, and they wonder what happened. So you say get, you have to. You're saying new tires. Sucks, I'm saying dude. used tires. I say used tires are fine. They're not fine. Unless it's not a good move. If you buy new tires, you're going to be like, then always get them rotated. Do all that shit. Like it I usually never comes with it. Dude, you just got to suck it up and all buy right. new tires once every two. Maybe it's like two years that I because I, the re, then you get in this whole thing where like one tire is worn down. The other three are good and then you get a used one on this one and then it's like four guys who don't even know each other down there and they're all like trying to operate and your car's fucked. You're going to get in an accident and kill someone. Don't do that. Just get new tires. It sucks. I know dude. You, I, you end up spending more money when you do the used brown. I believe that. All right. Okay. I'll all right. You know what? I feel like we both know enough. We kind of given our tip. Take, I don't know, take the advice. Take it, take take, take mine. I don't know. You got to live your life and answer but, those own questions for dude, you. What's crazy? Yeah, I'm just saying if you're at fucking tire discounters, look, ask them to give me that itemized list. Show me this shit that you're going to charge me for. Because when you you can read it with your own two eyes sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got something to say. One. All right. This is for anyone. This is like something I've seen a lot of. And I'm going out there because I'm a little bit drunk. But if if I feel like most of the women I know don't know how to change a tire, don't know how to jump a car, and then don't also know that you can't ride on the rim if your tire pops, okay? 
I feel like yeah. this is some, I mean, I'm not Don't. trying to judge. I'm not trying to make it, but like most of my female friends, for whatever reason, no one taught them how to change a tire. You can't, I've, I've been at 15 minute tire multiple times and not trying to generalize, but if you're a person that doesn't know you can't ride on the rim, don't, you cannot ride on the rim. <laughs> you will need to it's buy a, a new rim. You'll need to buy a new rim. If you think, oh, well, yeah, I don't want to get towed. Yourself. Learn how to change a tire. Do not ride on the rim. Dude, real talk. This goes right back to our conversation. You know what's worth spending money on? Triple A. It's a hundred yeah. fucking dollars. And you know what the thing is? It's like, yeah, dude, I can put my I can put my donut on my car if my tire blows. Sure. It will be a pain in the ass, but I can do it. The thing is, it's like where it happens. Yeah. That is what's fucking annoying. I dude, I was in a van that blew a tire in the fucking downtown loop of Chicago. Like middle of the day. Horrendous experience. Get triple A. Get some guy with a truck come. He do it for you. Can you and change you know, anyway. Yes, of course. Okay. But I don't want I pay a hundred dollars so that I don't have to deal with that shit. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. it sucks when you're it's just it sucks. It's happened too many times. Fine. And good, I just end up yeah. being like, I'll make that call. And you're like, do I need to spend a hundred dollars on this? Uh, yes. <laughs> don't save yourself the mental anguish for real and the time. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Save your own time. I agree. And they give you a little bullshit. It's like, oh, you get half off if you get this bus from here to Sacramento. Yeah. You can take advantage of that if that is what you're into. They give you a little perks too. Yeah, here and there. None of them are ever free usable. Free buses to Sacramento. If I you swear ever to God, it. one of them is like get a free small coffee at a Barnes and Noble Starbucks. Just the ultimate corporate suck job at that point. Is your trad <laughs> nice. membership? I'd like that. Just a corporate circle I bought jerk. A, I bought a, a grande pike roast at a Barnes and Noble Starbucks. Would have been nice if it was free. While you browse books. So much art. I got one more. What's that? Spotify premium. I own it. You have to. You gotta. I The ads. Don't let those fucking ads in your brain, man. <laughs> I've, I guess I've had it for so long. I hate that shit. I need to listen to an album front to back. Like I don't, I don't like being interrupted with some ad of John Stamos talking about his new podcast. Please, God, no. Yeah, you gotta buy. I mean, you can get like, um, you know, get a girlfriend, split a duo pass for fifteen dollars. It's seven dollars. You don't gotta listen to John Stamos talk about the new BK Whopper. Yeah, you don't have to get fed ads for the Conan O'Brien podcast. It's actually pretty funny. Is it funny? Oh, that I've listened to that legs show all over my face. And the, I listen to that guy, and you you really are like, man, this guy knows he's just he's just better than anything we could do. Yeah, he's a great comedy mind. I mean, that's undeniable. He's good. He's the Giannis Antetokounmpo of comedy. <laughs> he just does everything well. He's just exceptional, and yeah, he just he he can like. Where are we at? It's the thing where it's like um, maybe Giannis isn't the best example, but he's like the Kawhi Leonard because he can he can he's reliable. He and he can take anyone else's energy and make comedy out of it. Yeah. Like you and I, we know, I know what you're going to be bringing to the table every week. You know, you know what I'm bringing to the table. You know what the, you know how, when I pass you the ball, you know what to do. You know, I'd like to think, dude, when I was doing the, anti- things to spend your money on. All right. <laughs> Let's just stop recording.